Hi, welcome to Wednesday, Halloween, Halloween week Wednesday. Say that a lot. Okie doke, we're going to do regular letters today. Um, this lady is from Australia, her name is Kai. And I have heard an Aboriginal did did you do did you redo did you redo playing in my TV room when I when no one else other than my husband and I are awake in the house every morning I blow drying my hair after my shower my in suite door opens as if one of the children have pushed it open to see what I'm doing and no one's there I have seen a very tall man and feel him standing at the side of the bed on my husband's side, just watching us. My oldest daughter has an old Chinese looking man that stands in her room at the end of her bed watching her at night and has also had her TV go on and radio go on by themselves while she's sleeping. The children have heard the keys and mouse on the computer computer at the back end of the house when their bedrooms are being yep the children have heard the keys and mouse on the computer at the back end of the home where their bedroom is and being touched when the computer is off all this activity is unnerving to them would you say we have more than one spirit in the home and why would they all be here and do I need to ask them all to go to the light and would they leave? Well, just because you've obviously seen at least three different spirits between you, your husband, and the kids, I would say yes, you do have more than one spirit in the house. I have no way of knowing why you have this many spirits in the house. Uh, you didn't say how old the children are or how long you've lived in this house, but I'm wondering, you know, Australia was a penal colony when people started going there, and I wonder if you have, you know, some of the remnants from that running around, and I don't have any clue what the mindset or makeup or beliefs are of the Aborigines, so I, you know, that would probably be better, better research for you. Question that I wonder is why do I need to do I need to ask them all to go to the light? What do you want to do? Pick and choose which ones stay? No, you really don't want any earthbound spirits in your house. So if they go, they all go, not just one or two. And because of where you live, I'm not coming to Australia anytime soon. You really seriously need to uh, smudge the house on a really regular basis. You know, with the kids in the house, and especially with your daughter having that man in her bedroom, I would seriously think that you should start smudging on a regular basis at least every 10 to 12 days until the house feels clear and you don't have any of this going on. Okie doke. This one is from Lorraine. That's her name, Lorraine. And I have read your book and I would like to say thank you. What a wonderful read. The part where in your dreams ghosts can speak to you was so true. I had a dream one night and my sister was standing beside my bed. She told me that someone in my family was going to get cancer. Two weeks later, my mother told me that our aunt had cancer. I would like to know if the ghosts protect you. Earthbound spirits do not protect you. And of course, we all have our garden angel. And however, if your sister showed up standing next to your bed, I'm assuming she has died. And she's crossed over just because I mean just because you could see her doesn't mean that she was just earthbound and yes 
they can get your attention like if you have a baby in a crib and all of a sudden the blanket falls over the baby's head somebody a spirit guide a grandma an angel somebody will come and give you a heads up oh my gosh something's wrong with the baby and you you know do that or for some reason you just keep getting this urge to go check the um, fuse box and you see it's snap popping and cracking it, it, you know something's wrong or for some reason you get the urge to go downstairs and make sure your hot water tank is okay and here it's leaking so yes they can give you some information like that but it's not the earthbound ones the earthbound ones would be making the hot water tank break and making your fuse box pop and crack so that so they can protect you or they can at least give you a heads up I just read a quote and I believe the quote said your gut instinct is your soul talking to you and if you think about it somebody is telling you to go check this stuff out and we all call it our gut instinct this one is from Judy in Indiana Wow, I was listening to your interview on the radio on Monday and I found it very interesting that your response to a lady who often dreams about her departed mother. You explained that a person can actually speak with a loved one in a dream. My question is this. Often times I dream about my father who died many, many years ago. He's in the dream but doesn't speak. Can you tell me what this signifies, if anything? I am comforted by his presence and feel good the next day after remembering the dream, but also I'm wondering why he doesn't say anything. Thanks for any input. Judy, the next time you have a dream of him, don't wait for him to start talking. Look at your dad and say hi. Or how are you? Or dad, you look great. Or how is it up there? You start the conversation. Don't wait for him. He actually may not know that you are seeing him. Just because spirits that have crossed over are in dreams, they don't always know that the dreams they're coming into, if that person is seeing them or not, because, again, a lot of people don't remember their dreams, or because of meds that they take, their dreams are you know, blank, you don't remember, swing shifts, not sleeping in normal, you know, in a normal rhythm. So you may not, he, he may think you're not remembering your dreams. So start the conversation yourself and see how that doesn't go. Uh, Marianne, last year you cleared my cousin's neighbor's house. They had two terrible, pro they had terrible problems. The kids were always sick. They were getting ready to get a divorce. You, Since you were there, the kids haven't been sick once. They're not getting a divorce anymore. It's amazing. They just can't believe how better the house is. Here's my question. You told the wife about her mother visiting from the other side. She was not stuck. She was had crossed over. And she had some messages for her daughter and for somebody else that was in the family. I thought you couldn't see spirits that crossed over. How are you doing that? I'm not doing that. But whoever the ghosts were in that house could see her. When I die and if I stay earthbound, which I am not, I would still have the ability as an earthbound spirit to talk to uh, other, you know, to talk to spirits that crossed over or earthbound spirits. Now, I don't think that would change and I could also talk to spirits that crossed over, but people, again, like James Von Prague, John Edwards, they can speak to people that crossed over. If they died and didn't go into the light, they would be able to get information. So apparently one of the ghosts, earthbound ghosts that were in the house, had that ability to see spirits that have crossed over. And that's where the information came from. 
I wouldn't have a clue. And if somebody doesn't tell me, I don't know. And I had to tell, they're usually pretty accurate, which I've also, I've, sometimes I've been afraid to say something about the information that they give me because, you know, you never know. But it seems like they know what they're talking about. So that is how that is done. And again, I, if that earthbound spirit wasn't telling me, I wouldn't have any idea of what's going on. Your house is full of spirit guides, guardian angels, people that crossed over, but you're right, I do not see them. This is from uh, a Sue Ann, a farm in Ohio. Marianne, we desperately need your help. Ever since moving into our home, unexplainable things have been happening. Coolers in our basement have been found filled to their tops with ice cold water. Absolutely no explanation for this. My daughter's music boxes randomly start playing. The fan speed on the window air conditioner in my other daughter's room randomly goes from zero to 99. Pipes freeze, uh, pipes froze last winter. Furnace broke. Cure coffee maker runs perfect during the week when my husband is out of town. Does not work when he gets home. My daughter cannot maintain any type of any type of relationship with boys. My youngest daughter, 25, says she saw a man one night in her room. She can feel the cold when he's around her. She hears him walking around her bedroom. Her little dog watches him walk around her room. She says when she's in the shower, she can feel a cold breeze and it moves the shower curtain. She seems to be the only one he hangs around. When it rain floods, when it rains, our barn floods. We live on the highest part of the road. There's no good reason for this. There should not be a flood. Someone is generally always sick in the house. Usually my husband. Our truck has had unexplainable electric, electrical issues. It just stalls randomly. Many, 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 many more things have been going up. What are we supposed to do? Well, Sue Ann, the good thing is at least you live in Ohio. The bad thing is we are starting November 1st in a few days, which means bad weather, and the virus is still going on, which means I probably, if that's what you would want, need to come out. It would be a while. In the meantime, you've got to get that man away from your daughter. She does not need to have a guy watching her while she's in the shower. And... Obviously, one of the ghosts in the house do not like your husband. And that's why the coffee maker won't work when he's around. She's just trying to aggravate him, or he's trying to aggravate him. And that could be a problem with one of them riding in the vehicle, and that's why you're having electrical problems with the vehicle. The flooding, I'm not exactly sure how they're doing that. But that's, that's interesting. Um, without coming to the house or without at least getting a phone call from the house, or why don't you come on Zoom and let me see if what I can pick up something from Zoom. I'm on one next month, um, oh, the 19th or the 20th, uh, 20th, uh, next month. And so why don't you come on there and let's see what's going on. At least start smudging it's, and smudge every 10, 12 days. But I would say do your daughter's bedroom at least once a day or once a week rather, just to keep him for sure out of her room and come on Zoom or call, leave a message Zoom would be faster. It would take me, you know, six, seven, eight weeks to call you back on the phone. But I would at least do that. Without getting some more information, I really don't know exactly what's going on. But it sounds like you've got a number of things going on. Okay, and our last one. Um, I love your book. I can't put it down. And after I read it, I started thinking, my father passed away more than 10 years ago of cancer. 
but things in the house started going crazy after that. My son, who was 18 months old, uh, at the time he was 18 months old, kept telling me that he saw his papa at the end of his bed in the middle of the night. We all started to suffer from sicknesses that aren't explained. The reason I'm writing to you now is because I think having him here, if it is him, is affecting my mother mentally. She had a breakdown and has been suffering from sickness and depression ever since. No amount of medication is helping her at this point, and I have come to believe it is my father being here. This is from Tessa in New Jersey. Two things. You said your father died of cancer. It wouldn't be your father. Cancer patients 99.999% of the time go to the light. You don't want them to be dead, but you know they have to go. They've been in so much pain. They're tired. They go. And why would your father do this to you guys? I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. And your little guy, seeing your father, absolutely. That happens. Grandkids see their, their grandparents all the time. Even if they've never met them, they can look through an old photo album and point them out and go, there's Papa, and they've never seen him. Why would they know that? So that absolutely happens. So I think your father, I'm sure your father's crossed over and he's just visiting your little guy and he knows who it is and that's terrific. There's no, they don't cause any problems after they've crossed over. I do not believe that this is your father. There probably is definitely something in the house though. And exactly what is affecting your mother or how she's acting could be because of an earthbound spirit. So I think that you need to smudge, or you need to call, or you need to get on Zoom, and let's see what the heck is going on. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this is not your father. Okay, first of all, um, Halloween is Saturday. It is a full moon, the blue moon, the second moon of the month. Thank goodness this doesn't happen very often. It's going to be good to see that happen and be done with. Oh, the law of uh, the uh, Mercury retrograde is done on the 4th. So that is going to be a huge relief for a lot of people. This has been a really weird Mercury retrograde. And questions or you're looking for answers to something very specific, Go to my website. There is all kinds of information on that if you don't want to call or you don't want to get on Zoom or you can't find the information in one of my books. You could probably find at least a hint of what you're looking for on my website. I am still getting some terrific fairy letters and imp letters and stuff about the little folk. I thought I had pretty well covered it, but I did not after seeing some of these letters. So not, not until after the holidays are over, when it's creepy outside and snowy, maybe in January, February, we'll be doing fairy stuff again. But, so if you still got questions and you never made it around the first round, set, send letters in. And with the holidays coming up, if you've got earthbound spirits in your house, you have had trouble with holidays. Uh, lights going off, one string in the tree, lights outside going off, the oven being turned off when the turkey's in there. Write and let me know what has happened around your holidays that could possibly be from a ghost. You know, you are not alone. This happens to so, so many families. And so sometimes it's just good to hear that you are not alone and you can listen to somebody else's stories. Okay, happy Halloween, everybody, and please be safe, and we'll talk next month. Thanks.